Hey, it's Aaron Chen, and if you're watching this video right now, you might be searching for how to supplement your income, okay? So I'm gonna talk about that in the next few minutes. Hey, welcome back. If this is the first time you're watching one of my videos, I'm always coming out with content that will teach you how to earn your first dollar using the power of the internet, okay? So if you're not subscribed to this channel, you can subscribe wherever the subscribe button is. And if you would like to get my six-figure strategy on how I was able to quit my full-time job and work 100% from home, then you can just click the link below at any time. You don't need to wait till the end of this video. But in this video, we're gonna talk a little bit about how to supplement your income. And depending on one, when you're watching this video, because you know YouTube videos stay online for five, 10, 15, 15, 20 years, whatever it is, right? Um, it might be very timely because you might be watching this during the coronavirus outbreak, right? And I've been watching this you know, outbreak very, very closely and it's very interesting because it's affecting a lot of different industries including certain markets in the online industry, okay? Which is really, really interesting. So if you're working an offline job, if you're part of a union or if you were working in manufacturing or if you were, if you were working in you know, retail services, you know, these are the biggest industries that are being affected right now. And maybe you've lost your job or you've had your sal salary slashed or um, you know, maybe um, you, you, know, you, you don't really know what's going to actually happen to your job, right? Uh, which is very, very scary, okay? But this is not the first time that this has happened, right? There's been, you know, the SARS outbreak, the subprime mortgage crisis, you know, Great Depression many, many years ago. Um, there's always something that's going on externally which will always affect your income, which is why it's very important for you to bolster your personal income streams and to make sure that that's never affected by any sort of external um, you know, uh, source, right? So, and the only really real way to do that, if you really think about it, is to learn how to create an income for yourself on the internet, okay? Because look, if, even if you had a business offline, right? And if we were going through the coronavirus right now where people are not allowed to leave their homes, then your business is going to be affected anyway, right? So if you own a restaurant or if you own like, um, you know, a consultancy where people actually had to go to your office, right? Or even if you, you know, had a startup company, like in Silicon Valley, a lot of these startups are laying people off because they're in, on startup mode, right? And even though they can work from home, because they were growing in a certain way and all of a sudden the coronavirus has affected the ability for people to go to the office, it's affected their budgets and their revenue and their profits. And so they've had to also lay off a lot of people, right? So online businesses or internet startups and stuff like that are not 100% um, you know, immune to actually what's going on externally in the world today. But you know what is completely immune from what's going on in the world today is actually having your own internet business where you're selling digital products from the comfort of your home, all right? So let me talk about that a little bit today and I'll explain to you the different models online. So I've been around um, now for the last 11 years on the internet, right? Um, in 2009, I was working a full-time job. Um, I'd been working full-time for 15 years uh, at, you know, at that point, right? I'm a lot older than I look. I'm actually 37 at, at shooting this video. A lot of people think I'm like 15. It's ridiculous. <laughs> or whatever, or, or 19 or like 21. It's crazy. But anyway, in 2009, I'd been working a full-time job, wearing a suit to work every single day for, for five years at that stage, right? And at that stage, I was like, you know, I was at a crossroads. I was doing well, but I literally had no time for myself. I was working 12 hour days, six to seven days a week. And I literally asked myself, okay, how am I going to make sure that I can be comfortable and create, sorry, create a lot of income in my life, right? But not necessarily have to work a full-time job. Start a business where, um, you know, I'm not gonna be affected by any external forces, right? And still be profitable, even if, you know, the the you know shit hits the fan as they say right and so i went into online marketing I, I went onto the computer i started googling you know how do i make money online and the thing about you know supplementing your income through the online world is there's actually a lot of different business models that you can do online right i'll, I'll talk you through some of them okay you can build a multi-level marketing company online, which is what I started with and did pretty well, but ultimately I didn't really like recruiting a lot of people into my business, right? It, you know, after a while, it just it just didn't really make sense. The amount of work I was putting in versus the amount of money I was making didn't really make sense. And then I looked at different business models like top tier sales or affiliate marketing or e-commerce and drop shipping, uh, even freelancing, right? So let's talk about that a little bit, okay? So the, the, the first problem with freelancing is that yes, it's online, 
but you still have to understand that freelancing is like having a job, but you're, you're, the only difference is, is that you're on the computer, okay? So because you're a freelancer, you still work for clients, right? So that means that your time is not 100% free and there's absolutely no leverage. If you're not doing the work, like if you're not desi designing a logo or if you're not doing transcription services or if you're not creating a podcast voiceover or whatever, right? And you're not delivering to clients, you're not making any money on automation. Does that make sense? So your salary is capped. That's why freelancing online is okay but it's not the ultimate solution to supplementing your income. That's what I truly believe anyway, right? So what are the other business models? Well, let's look at dropshipping, okay? Now, dropshipping is very popular, okay? If you don't know what dropshipping is, all it is is you create your own little store using a software called Shopify, right? So it's very similar to Amazon, except you own your own store, right? Which is great, um, and you can run ads to particular products that you choose um, from different e-commerce websites, and when somebody buys your product, you basically deliver it directly from your Shopify store or from your supplier directly to that customer wherever they live, in the US, in China, in Singapore, in Malaysia, in Thailand, in Australia, it doesn't matter where they live, right? That's how dropshipping works. Now, the problem with dropshipping, okay, is that you basically have to buy the product from another cheaper e-commerce website, okay, or, or have your own supplier, and then manually do that transaction and then get them to send it to another person, right? So there's a few problems with dropshipping. Number one, the margins are very, very low. Because you're selling mainly physical products, right? The profit margins are very low, right? Because you have to buy it. Let's say you're selling, um, you know, this betadine spray, right? What you have to do is you have to find this betadine spray for a cheaper price on another website or another online supplier, buy it, and then list it on your store for slightly more expensive, right? And then basically you make the spread, the margins, okay? So you can't increase the price by that much. And then the other problem is, is that dropshipping is extremely manual. So in order for you to hit, you know, let's just say 5,000 or $10,000, you're only making a few dollars of revenue or profit per transaction that you make. So ask yourself, how many of these sprays do you, or units of this particular product do you need to sell in order to hit $5,000 or $10,000 per month? Well, you have to make quite a lot. You have to make like four or 500 sales a month on average to hit that kind of income. Now, you know, some money is better than no money, right? You know, and that's what people say. But there's a, a good way and a bad way to do stuff, right? And I just feel that drop shipping, number one, has cash flow issues because you have to buy the products first before you, you drop ship it to somebody and list it on your store. You have to pay for online ads, all right? And then the third thing is that with the coronavirus, a lot of drop shippers are being affected because they can't actually get their products, right? Because it's a physical item, people actually have to make these in the factories in China or India or wherever they're manufactured in the US and stuff like that. And because a lot of these people can't even go to their jobs right now, they're stuck at home, a lot of drop shippers and a lot of e-commerce businesses are being affected. Their supply chain is being affected, their manufacturing is being affected, the whole supply chain is just being screwed up, right? Which is why even with drop shipping, even though it's an online business model, is not completely immune to external factors that's going on outside, right? So a lot of, a lot of stuff here, so I'm, I'm kind of like, you know, teaching you a lot of different skills. So you're like, Aaron, okay, well, how do I supplement my income then, right? Well, another thing that you can check out is surveys, okay? But, the sur but survey websites on the internet, honestly, they don't pay very well. They pay about 50 cents to $2 per survey. And you might be thinking, well, I can sit there and I can take like 100 surveys a day. Well, that's not how they're designed, okay? The way that they're designed is that you basically have to go through a full application process. And based on your demographic, if you're, you know, let's just say you're Chinese and you're between the ages of 30 and 40 and you like sports or you like electronics or you, you know, you have, uh, you like to travel, right? Based on your demographic and your interests and hobbies, they will send you specific surveys based on what their clientele wants. Does that make sense? So that means that you can't just sit there and fill up every single survey because you don't cover every single, single demographic, okay? So even if you were to register for like five different survey websites, you can earn a maximum of like maybe one or two dollars per day. Think about how much that actually really is in per month, you know? That's like what, 30, 60, maybe 90 dollars a month for spending a few hours a day filling out surveys? It, it just doesn't make sense. The amount of money that you're making versus how much time you're spending doesn't really make sense, right? So surveys don't make sense because I've tried that too, okay? So what is the best way to supplement your income, okay? And what is the safest way 
based on what's going on in the world and how to you know safeguard yourself from from uh, from external factors, right? Well, basically, what what I did and what I focused on. Um, from 2016 to 2019 is a business model called affiliate marketing. Okay, now all affiliate marketing is is when you find digital educational products, and you can literally find digital educational products in any niche industry. Okay, anything you want. How to create a beehive? How to play the piano? How to make money online? How to generate more leads on Facebook? How to sing? how to dance, how to lose weight, how to get six-pack abs. I mean, there's so many niche markets. There are thousands of niche markets that people want to learn how to solve a problem in, right? And they're willing to pay good money in for, for that information, okay? So what do, you, what, what do you do is basically you find a digital product, you find a group of people that want them, and, and, you, and you basically help them to solve a problem, and you connect them together. That's all you do, right? And when you sell them that product, which is 100% digital educational information that they access from a membership website, you get a commission. Now, the reason why affiliate marketing and selling digital stuff doesn't get affected by what's going on externally is because everything is on the internet. It's all information. So you're selling information. You're like a broker of information. Does that make sense, right? And when you broker this right information to the right group of people, no matter what's happening in the world, people want to still get that information. Right? Nothing changes. There's no, there's no manufacturing factory or whatever you know, that has to create your product because everything is delivered digitally via information through the internet. And that is why my business has not been affected at all by what's going on in the world. In fact, March 2020 was my biggest month. I saw a huge spike because everyone's stuck at home and you know what they're doing? They're on the internet either watching Netflix doing nothing or they're on the computer trying to find a way to make more income. Learn a new skill. Learn how to cook. There's so many cooks being created right now. People who never used to cook before, they're online looking for you know, different information. And you might say, okay, well, Aaron, they can get this information for free. That's true. But if they really want to learn something deeply, you can't learn that for free. Okay. So for example, if you wanted to learn how to market online properly, like become an expert at it, you can't learn that for free. You, you can find little bits of information on YouTube and Google, but if you want like a proper program, you can't get that information for free. Same as if you want to get six-pack abs. Sure, you can get some information for free on YouTube and there's a lot of workout videos, but if you want the full program, right, the proper training, you need to invest in a six-pack abs course. There's no way you can learn how to do everything just through YouTube because the information is spread out all over the place, right? It's, it's, it's sporadic, okay? And so if you want to really learn that skill, people will, are willing to, to invest money to buy good products to get that information. I hope that makes sense, okay? So, to answer your question, how do you supplement your income? I would suggest, number one, building a simple business on the internet. That's the first thing, okay? Understand that what's going on in the world today this is like a huge warning of what's, you know, things to come, okay? You, you want to protect yourself. You got to take control of your life, okay? You got to protect your family. And how do you do that? Well, you learn a skill uh, that will never be, you know, taken away no matter what is going on in the world. So build a business on the internet. Number two, build an affiliate marketing business on the internet where you're selling digital educational information and it's not going to be affected by external forces, okay? And then number three, actually learn how to do it properly. How do you do that? Well, you find a mentor, you invest in a program, and you learn how to do it properly, right? Take control of your life. And number four, take lots of action. You know, just do it every single day. So whether that's, you know, if you, if you still have a job right now, then you're very, very lucky, okay? Um, I would do it after work, on the weekends, you know, chip away at it, right? This is a real skill that will pay you for the rest of your life. So it's gonna take as long as it's gonna take. I hope that makes sense, okay? Um, and if you don't have a job, then what else do you have to do? What else? Can you do right you may as well just get in and learn how to do this properly i hope that makes sense okay and so that's the that's what i would do okay Th these are the four steps that i would take okay first of all get online number two do affiliate marketing number three you know find a mentor who can teach you how to do it number four take action you know you may as well the, 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 you know the, this is not this is not going to be the first virus that's going to affect the world this is not the first external factor or force that's going to affect the world economy. There's always something, right? There's always something. Stock market crashes, subprime mortgage, you know, crashes, viruses, pandemics, people that are running the country. I mean, there's just so many, there's so many things that, that, that you don't know that will happen to the economy. And so you have to protect yourself no matter what. I hope that makes sense. Okay. So first of all, I'd like to know what you thought of this video. Okay. If you got some aha moments, if you learned anything today, let me know in the 
chat box below. If you got some value from this video today, um, I would appreciate some thumbs ups, okay? And if you're like, Aaron, that sounds amazing. How do I get started, right? I've got a free training that will show you how to start in affiliate marketing, okay? How to recommend digital products online, um, how to find a group of people that will really want them, how to fill your business with a lot of people from all over the world that are interested in buying your products. And all you have to do to get that free training is go ahead and click on the link right below this video. It'll lead you to my website and to your best email address on that website. Make sure you check your spam folder because stuff ends up in spam sometimes, okay? Um, and then go through that training, enjoy it. And if you're serious and you would like to work with me, there will be, there'll be a way to do it, okay? So listen, I hope you enjoyed this training today. I hope to see you on another video very, very soon. Take care and all the best.